Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining me today. My name is Michelle Ienza, and I am the director and lead instructor of Embodied Practice, which is an ROIS school. I hold a 200 hour teacher training program. Uh, we're gonna be doing it online starting this fall session. Um, I'm also a professor of dance and somatics and a choreographer as well, so I have that background. Um, I'm going to be teaching you a vinyasa class, 30 minutes, so pretty expedited, to bring on the heat, essentially. So we're going to be working on strength and, most importantly, balance. So today we're going to start in a child's pose. Uh, when we're in our child's pose, I want you to set an intention for your practice, whatever that is. Um, it should probably revolve around the idea of what you consider to be balance. Balance in your life, balance within your body to create a sense of harmony. Um, any point in time today, if I offer something that does not feel good on your body, please do not do it or modify it. Uh, do what's right for you at all times. Um, have fun with this practice. It's meant to be joyful and creative and um, spark some internal heat. So without much further ado, let's begin. Starting at your mat, we'll begin in a wide-legged child's pose. So knees towards the edges of the mat, big toes are coming together. You're going to reach forward as far as you can that's comfortable for you and allow yourself to relax down. Draw your awareness to your breath here. Soften through the front of your hips. As your sits bones melt down towards your heels, they may not reach, that's okay. Your forehead is also resting down, and what you want to do is breathe into the sides of the waist here. Reaching forward, pressing the hands down. You start to find a sense of balance by breathing evenly into the right side and the left side of the lungs. Expanding, widening through the torso as well as lengthening with each inhale and exhale. Keeping that intention that you're setting right now that revolves around the idea of balance. Talking about balance, think about balancing your breath. Balance the inhale with the exhale so that the two are flowing in and out of one another without pause. Uh, consider it like the tides of an ocean just kind of surging in and going right back out. Together we're going to take a big inhale through the nose and exhale out of the mouth here. Big inhale and exhale, release it. Let it go. We're going to rise up onto all fours and we're going to start to move through cat-cow tilts. Spread the fingertips wide, insides of the elbows face forward as we wrap the arms in the sockets, knees are underneath the hips. On our inhale, we open up through the front surface of the body, and as we exhale, we open up to the back surface of the body. And again, the idea of balance with our breath is here, taking that full inhale to open up here into cow. Exhale, taking the full exhale to transition into cat. If you like any variation, honor that. Circles or undulations, whatever you do on one side, do on the other. We're just going to move through another round of inhale and exhale. Inhale to a neutral spine, lower down onto your forearms, elbows are now underneath your shoulders, forearms are parallel, keep pressing down. Draw the navel in a little bit here, supporting your low back. And on your inhale, move into cat-cow tilts once again. And as you do this, observe the differences. How does this feel now on forearms versus hands? We're not judging it. We're not criticizing it. You should feel it a little bit more on the upper back and between the shoulder blades, which we're going to get into later. Let's all find another round of breath on your own. Your next in-breath, rise back up onto all fours. All right, some balance work here. We're going to extend the right leg back. 
and the left arm forward. Start to bend the right knee so the sole of the right foot is drawing up towards the sky and start to pulsate a little bit, slight. As you do this, your hips remain square to the ground and we're drawing the navel in. As we exhale, elbow to knee, round your back. Variation on cat. Inhale, reach out, bend the knee and we pulse on one and two and three and four and we draw in six, seven and eight. Extend, reaching out and we bend at the knee. Just one more round. Two, three, four, draw it in. Find your breath reaching out. And lower the hands and the knees. Switching sides. Left leg back, square your hips, square your shoulders. Reach the right arm forward. Bend the left knee and find that subtle pulse, it's small. We're engaging the hamstrings and the glutes as we continue to engage the core, support the low back. Exhale, elbow to knee. Take your time, a variation on cat. So allow your back to round, relax your head. Inhale, reach out, bend the knee. And we're pulsing one, and two, and three, and four, drawing in, and six, and seven, and eight, we're reaching out. Bend the knee, here you go, one more. Soft, easy pulse. All our bodies are different, so honor what serves you. Any variation on this theme. Keep breathing evenly and lower it down. All right, we're gonna find a plank pose here. Drawing the navel in. Engage your inner thighs quite a bit. Draw your shoulder blades down. Anytime you need to lower down onto your knees, please do so. We're just going to hold this plank, finding stability as we ground down into the earth. One more inhale. On our exhale, we'll transition into a forearm plank. Elbows down. And then just observe differences. You can always lower down, bring the knees down, I should say. Scoop in through the lower abdominal muscles to support that low back, engage the inner thighs. Connect in with the breath. Your abs will probably be shaking right now. That's what should be happening. Lower the knees. Release the tucking of the toes. Press forward into sphinx here for a moment. Expand wide through your chest. On our exhale, lower down. Bring your hands to your ribs. Tuck your toes. Press up. Plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a moment here in downward facing dog. Five rounds of breath, evening out your balance. Now consider your original intention of what balance means to you. Consider evening your breath out. So the inhale and exhale are all balanced. You might even give it a count, breathing in for five, exhaling for five. You might be walking your dog out. You might be stretching laterally, so side to side, getting into those obliques a little bit. Whatever serves you, honor it. We're all gonna meet up here in Downward Facing Dog, finding some stability. Ground down through the palms of the hands, really pressing through the palms of the hands, wrapping the arms in the sockets, drawing your shoulder blades back, Lengthening to the backs of the legs. Your heels are lowering. They do not have to touch the mat. Nice, everyone. Inhale, rise up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees. Look at your hands, and as you step forward, allow your head to just relax here so we're not holding tension in the back of the neck. Micro bend in the knees here as we find a forward fold. Feel free to reach for opposite elbows. Head is hanging. If you're feeling inclined to begin opening up those hamstrings a little bit more, go right ahead. But do what serves you. Shoulders drop towards the ears. Inhale, halfway lift up. Good. Exhale, we're going to find a plank again. Let's create a little bit more heat. Inhale, right leg floats up. This is a three-legged plank. Exhale, right knee to right elbow or tricep. Inhale, press that leg back. 
three-legged plank. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Good, extend that leg back, lower it down. Let's just switch sides. Inhale, left leg floats up. Exhale, draw the left knee to left elbow. Inhale, extend that. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow here. Good, inhale, extend back and lower. Lower the knees down if you like, Chaturanga Dandasana. Squeeze the elbows so that they touch your ribs. Good, now from here, press forward and lift your heart center up, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rise up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees. Step, top of the mat, and then allow your neck to relax, head is hanging. Inhale, halfway lift up. Draw the navel in. Notice if you start to lean back. Keep the weight centered. And we fold. Spinal roll up. 24 vertebrae to work through. So bend your knees and allow your head to hang. Stay connected to your breath as you ground down into your foundation. We ground and we lift. The arms rise up overhead. Good. Focus can go up or be forward. Navel is in. Tailbone is just dropping down. Relax it. Finding the breath. Good. Bending the knees. Cactus the arms. Looks like this. Fly your arms back. Now notice. Navel still drawing into support the low back. We're going to pulsate the arms back towards one another, and we're getting right in between our shoulder blades. So upper back area, squeeze and hold. Good. Bring the arms up. Maybe we sit down a little bit lower. As we exhale, draw your right knee up and twist towards the right. Expand wide through your chest. This is a balance. Good. We're going to allow those arms to lower as we face the front, squaring yourself. Good. Inhale, draw those arms up. Exhale, press and twist. Reach in opposite directions. Expand through the front and back body. Observe the balance. Don't judge it. And lower the arms down. And again, inhale, chair. Exhale, twist. Inhale, chair. Exhale, twist. We're going to find chair again and we're going to stay. Draw the navel in. Cactus the arms. Fly the arms back and pulse. If you want a balance challenge, lift up onto the balls of the feet. So your heels rise. We're going to engage the pelvic floor here. Strengthening the feet. Lower your heels down. Forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift up. We move through vinyasa. Move in any way that serves you. If your wrists ever get sore, you can always do this on your forearms. Just FYI. Exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Right leg floats up with your in-breath. This is a three-legged dog. Level off your hips and observe the difference between stacking the hips and bending the knee, scorpion dog. Notice if you start to open up and pop through your rib cage, square the shoulders and we breathe. As we exhale, we draw the right knee to the left elbow. Just keep scooping through the lower abdominal muscles. <sighs> Inhale, press back. It's a three-legged Plank. Exhale, right knee to right elbow or tricep. Inhale, press back. Exhale, knee to nose, plant the foot down. All right, runner's lunge essentially. If you like blocks, find that for yourself. They're always useful in practice, helping you fulfill the pose that serves you and your body. Keep breathing through it. Your knees should be right over that ankle, and we're pressing through that back heel. There's a counter pull, reaching forward and backward. Now we're gonna press down to rise up. Breathing through it. Tailbone drops. We're not tucking it. We're expanding through the sides of the ribs as we lengthen. Exhale, twist to the right. 
keep breathing. Feel free to deepen your twist by hooking your elbow over and bringing the palms of the hands together at your heart center. You can also fly your arms out from here. Good. From here, we find crescent lunge. All right, we're going to do four kicks or balances. It's your call. This would be the balance. Knee in. Push back here, so you're stepping backwards, or a kick. And then back two more. Balance or kick. All right, let's meet here in this balance. Left knee up. Tree pose. Drawing, and I'll show this from the front perspective. The left foot right on the inseam of the inner thigh, if that serves you. Or down below towards your calf. You want to be above or below the knee. If you're having any issues today with balance, kickstand method is always nice. Grounding down. Now, square your hips, square your shoulders so that when you're in tree pose, your hips don't start to ooh, open up and then we fall back. So that's what just, <laughs> when you fall back, you just fall off balance. So we now and draw in towards our midline, shoulders, whoop, hips are squared, and we breathe. There's a counter pressure going on between the inner thigh and the sole of that foot if your foot is up high. Feel free to grow the limbs of your tree in any way that serves you. We'll bring the hands back down, draw that left knee right in front, twist. So we're twisting towards the left. <clears throat> if you have a yogi toe lock and extension with your leg, honor that now as we twist. And that's a lot. So if your body's saying, no, not ready, that's okay. Woo. I'm cheating with the wall for camera purposes. Typically I wouldn't be doing that. Release out of that. Good. And let's just put the foot down. Take a moment here to breathe. Good, inhale, arms rise. So we're gonna go through another vinyasa. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift up. I'm gonna show you a vinyasa variation on your forearms. Forearm plank. We inhale, we move into sphinx. Now, you can either move into dolphin, which is a variation on downward facing dog, or you can just press back into downward facing dog. So oftentimes in vinyasa practices, wrists start to get sore. If you feel that, come to your forearms. That'll work for you as well. Take the pressure off of the wrists so that we have longevity in our practice. We don't ever want to feel pain. Keep breathing through it. Staying connected to the breath. On our next in-breath, float the left leg up, level off your hips. Then we stack and bend. This is scorpion dog. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Oblique muscles are engaged here. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, left knee to left elbow or tricep. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, knee to nose. Plant your foot down. Runner's lunge. Breathing here. Feel that counter pull. Roll the shoulder blades back, press through the heart center. We press down, and notice I'm drawing my back leg in just slightly to ensure that my knee stays right over that ankle. Crescent lunge. I'm going to show you from the perspective where I face you rather than turning away. We twist. So I did this earlier. Expand wide through the chest. Hook the elbow over. Palms at the heart center. Spread the wings, essentially, if that feels good. Keep breathing through it. In order to untwist, you exhale, and then we inhale back into crescent lunge. Keep breathing through it. All right. Standing balances or kicks. So what do you want? Do you want to bring your heart rate up? 
a little bit of cardio, Woo. or balance checks. It's up to you. After your fourth one, we find balance. The knee is bent, and we're drawing the right foot to the inner thigh, squaring the hips and the shoulders to the front. This is tree pose, and I did this earlier with all of you. And it's okay if we lose balance. This is a practice. You might even want to tiptoe your way up. Kickstand method. Maybe it goes to the calf. Maybe it rises up. Observe balance without judgment. Grow the limbs of the tree if that feels good. Keep breathing. Connecting the inhale with the exhale. Okay, now from here, draw that right knee in front of the right hip and begin to twist. Now, if you want more of a twist, or I should say, not more of a twist, but more of a challenge with this balance. Extend the leg, Yogi Tola. Keep breathing through it. We release, we plant the foot down, and we go back to our breath. Bring your intention back into your practice here. Inhale, big sigh out of the mouth, let it go. All right, we're gonna heat it up more. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift up. Exhale, a vinyasa, however you want to do it. Do more, do less. This is your practice. Down facing dog. Inhale, float your right leg up. Scorpion dog, if you are one of those people who like to flip into a wild thing, go right ahead. All right, variation on side plank, knee to opposite elbow. Now I'm gonna show you the frontal perspective of this so that I'm not facing away. Start to float that leg up. Now that's gonna engage your core. Reach for the foot and draw it forward. If that feels okay, if not, don't do it. <clears throat> you might just be still grounding the feet onto the earth. Exhale, draw the knee in, plant your hand down, then the foot. Rise back up into crescent lunge, breathing here. From crescent lunge, dial your back heel down, find warrior two. So I just switched the side of the mat so that you can see me from the front perspective. Virabhadrasana two, palms can be down or up. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Take a moment here to breathe into the side of the torso. Exhale, extended side angle, elbow onto thigh. I like to use blocks. Feel free to find a fist. Good. Reach the opposite arm over the ear. We're going to reverse our warrior again. Press into your feet and lift. Good. Now, from here, lengthen through that front leg. Reverse triangle. Now meet your left arm with it. Obliques. Start to reach. Good. Take a moment here to breathe. Feel that diagonal pull. Utita Trikonasana. Triangle pose here. So, hand can go onto shin, ankle, earth, block, whatever serves you. We're going to bend to the front knee, and we're going to find a bind. Roll the shoulder blades back. If this is not working for you today, extend the side angle, classical version, or maybe half bind, reaching that left hand to the inner thigh. You're in your bind, fully release. Find a block or float this, Ardha Chandrasana. So typically you would just float forward. Now I would leave the camera, so I'm not gonna do that. Keep your perspective to where you're looking at, so to the side of the room. From here, start to float your back leg up, lifting up. So we want to use not our vision to balance us here, but instead proprioception. So the back leg's drawing in, and then we float up. So right there, your hips are already level. Picture your left foot standing on a wall. Good, we stack the hips and the shoulders and we expand. 
One more inhale. Naturally on the exhale, your navel draws in. That's going to help with balance. Carefully step back, warrior two. Then move back into crescent lunge. I'm coming back to the side that you were already on. From crescent lunge, draw your left knee in. Place the ankle over the thigh. And from here, we're going to move into uh, figure four. So we're standing. We're finding balance here. If having your hands at your heart center isn't serving you, maybe you want to find a little bit of balance on blocks. Maybe you prefer to keep working through the idea of balance. If you want to lengthen the back of the leg, you start to fold. Keep listening to your body, and then try to relax your neck so that your head is hanging so we're not finding tension. Good. Arm balance, that variation. Palms of the hands ground down. You're looking down in between the hands. First thing you do is just hook the toes over the tricep, and then maybe you just lift that leg up. Possibly the red leg extends back. Either way, wherever you're at, one more round of breath. The end of your exhale, begin to rise up. Release your foot, draw it up. And just lower it down. Good, inhale, arms rise. Exhale, we fold. Moving through another vinyasa. Inhale, halfway lift up. Exhale, move with your breath. Inhale, left leg floats first. We square the hips, then we stack and bend, scorpion dog. Then we maybe flip if you want, moving carefully and mindfully always. You essentially just rewind that. Level off your hips, draw the knee now towards the opposite elbow and this side plank variation. You can always lift the leg up if you want more reaching for the foot, drawing it forward. You're going to what serves you best. One more round of breath. Exhale, bend the knee, lower the hand down, plant the foot down in between your hands. Inhale, we rise, crescent lunge. Good, so we'll dial that back heel down. Can we find warrior two? Virabhadrasana two here. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Lateral movement of the torso, moving side to side. Extend inside angle, elbow onto thigh, hand onto a block. Breathe into the side of the torso. Hips, ribs, shoulders are all lining up here. Inhale, reverse. Good. Lengthen through that front leg. All right. Bring that opposite arm up. Lift, reach up out of the waist. Utita Trikonasana. Take a moment here to just reach through this balance, and then open it up. Breathe in here. Focus can go up, forward, or down. Consider what feels best for your neck. We're going to bend through the front knee, so that's your left knee, and then we'll start to bind. Now, it's your call. Full bind, half bind, no bind, whatever serves you. I'm going to adjust because we're going to be moving into Ardha Chandrasana half moon pose. So, pretend that I did not move. Focus is here and I'm going to transfer the weight forward. Now, notice I'm looking at the camera. I'm not going to take the focus down. That helps with your balance. And it brings more awareness to proprioception. Relax the muscles in the jaw. Engage your lifted leg. Imagine that your right foot is standing on the wall behind you, so pressing into something. As we exhale, that naturally engages the core, and we carefully step back. Warrior two. Squaring yourself back to the front of the room, so your femur, your thigh bone, is going to rotate back to parallel. Good. Draw the knee in. Ankle over thigh. Figure four. Chair pose here. 
Now you might be luxuriating here. You might choose to fold. If you did an arm balance on the second, on the first side, on the second side, you're hooking the toes over the tricep, planting the hands down, focuses in between the hands, and then play around with your weight. See where your weight is at. We have one more round of balance wherever you need to be, honor it. Let it go. Draw back up. So, woo, your knee is coming up. And we lower down. Good. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. All right, variation on a vinyasa. Inhale, halfway lift up. Forearm plank. All right. Drawing the navel in, forearm side plank. Guide your weight onto your left forearm. Keep spreading those fingertips. We're now on the outside edges of the feet. Your hand can be in front of you or on your hip. You can move the arm upwards. If you want more challenge, stack your feet, separate your feet, whatever serves you. We have one more round of breath here. Exhale, forearm plank. And we're just gonna transfer that to the second side. You don't need to move. Need to move. Guide the weight to the right forearm. Find the balance that serves you today. Good. We'll lower back down. Forearm plank, lower the knees. Release the tucking the toes. Sphinx, press the pubic bone and the tops of the feet down. Tuck your toes. Engage your core. Walk those feet in a bit. Dolphin. Five rounds of breath here. If you have a forearm balance practice, honor that now. We're all gonna meet in a child's pose to find our breath once again. Keep breathing through it. I'm just gonna check the timer. Nice, everyone. Thank you for joining me. It's nice to see those faces out there. Once you're down, we're going to go into a different variation of child's pose than what we did earlier. We're going to keep the legs narrow, so parallel your legs, and then just fold. Hands are going to be by your feet this time. Palms up, and then melt down. Good, and then go back to your intention. The idea of balance, what that means to you today. And it evolves, definitions evolve every day, shift a little bit. Just allow that to be creating some pliability and flexibility that we require in order to sustain ourselves in this world. We have to adapt, and part of your vinyasa practice is to learn how to adapt internally so that in, thus you can share that externally with those you care about, your coworkers, the environment around you. So there's that sense of harmony. Good, let's all take one more inhale and exhale. Let it go. Roll up through your spine, one vertebra at a time. Pretty sure I'm out of time, if my uh, time on my watch is correct, because the timer on Instagram doesn't seem to be working or I don't know where it's at. That's totally possible. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me today. Let's bring the hands together in front of the heart center. Again, today was just a really quick little heated practice just to get the body moving, to find some sense of physicality, strength, and balance. Big inhale. Let's all sigh out of the mouth. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thanks everyone for joining me today. Have a wonderful day. It's good to see you. Everybody stay healthy and safe out there. Um, yeah, it's nice to see all of you. I haven't cut my hair in months because <laughs> Pandemic's getting real long. Alrighty. For those of you who haven't seen me in a while, this is what's happening. Alright. Have a great day.